What's going on everybody? This is Matt Harnig at Live Through Games. I'm going to be doing my review on Warlords of Draenor from War of Warcraft and I'm going to tell you what my thoughts were and the rating I would give it. Now, before I start, I want to talk a little bit about how I am with WoW and what I've done throughout my past. I played Vanilla WoW and it's always been kind of a been kind of like a comeback to thing. I've always played the expansions. I've always played different different parts of the game and sometimes I missed out on a couple things but all in all World of Warcraft has really been a game that I can always go back to and leisurely play when there's not like a big game that I want to play right now but I do always come for the launches of the expansions because they're always fun and exciting and it's nice to see it be an involved world and you see other characters questing and whatnot but um, at the start of the launch the game had some minor problems with uh, getting into the game, long queues, things like that, but it took a little bit, maybe about probably the weekend, and then that was, and after that it was pretty uh, simple to get in from there. So it wasn't something that Blizzard had to work too hard with, but and the next time I think they should probably try and find a better solution than just making a limited amount of people be able to get on and wait, pe make people wait three hour queues to get on. Because then it makes people feel like they have to play because they log out and do something different. They're going to get kicked off and have to be in queue for a while again. Other than that, let's go on to the expansion itself. Now, there was a pre-patch pre before the expansion actually came out where they did the new races and they simplified the um, spell, spell bar to make uh, you not have so many spells and have so many of these other spells you don't really use. So it kind of made it easier to get a good rotation and different kind of buffs and debuffs to like know which ones to use at what time. I thought it was good because it simplified my characters as far as my main warlock, which I absolutely love playing. Um, it made me be able to go down to having instead of six, seven big, big rotations, it was more of now like four. I like got my four or five big moves that I do and it was just a, a lot easier for me. And also, it was nice to see the new race looks and how they made it look different and made the characters get a kind of an upgrade to make them look 3D, make them look more fluid, things like that. And they kind of just did a really good job. And they only did this, of course, with the older races like your warrior, your, your humans, your uh, taurins, your orcs, gnomes, so on. But um, there were some minor bugs and minor stupid little looks that I didn't personally like but all in all it was a good jump for a while to do that I think it was a good thing to say hey we want to keep ourselves relevant it's been 10 years we need to kind of get our guy the characters and the look of them to look you know a little better so after that um, we'll go ahead and just jump right into the actual expansion itself now when I first entered the dark portal which was a very epic moment for me the biggest thing that I saw when I first read that first quest like, let's go to the uh, warlord to drain or let's go into the black or the dark portal they um, they really made your character feel like hey you're our champion you're our guy that we put all our put all our trust in because you're the guy that's helped us through all of these expansions throughout World of Warcraft it's making your hero seem like a hero not like a oh, uh, I need 40 guys to help me beat this one boss. It's like now they're kind of making it more about you. So it was nice to make your characters feel as important as Thrall or Khadgar or um, any of the other characters that are in the expansion. So anyways, when you first went through it, it was like a siege of the Black Portal. It's like the, the Orcs or the Iron Horde are trying to come out of it and you had to shut it down. And it was such a great experience for me because I was like, once I got in, it's like, shit hit the fan. Now we gotta go in there and we gotta take these freaking eye hordes out, which was really fun. And you got to see Thrall and uh, Cadgar do these amazing moves, amazing cutscenes, even for its time. It's just, it was really exciting to watch. I really enjoyed it. The whole front part was good. And then you go into your next areas, which for starting areas, it's Alliance, is Silvermoon, and Frostridge for the Horde. I haven't seen much of Frostridge. I went in there a couple times with my Alliance because mostly I play predominantly Alliance. I will be playing my Horde as well. Um, maybe at a later date I might talk about a little bit of what my ideas of what the Horde supply aspects were. But anyways, you get the next thing which is the hugest, probably the biggest thing about 
uh, Warlords of Draenors with Garrisons. Now the Garrisons is, in a simple term, I'm not going to go on forever about it because I could talk for hours about each individual thing. It's kind of something that they've obviously taken from other other games, which is okay because nowadays most games always do. But it was um, it gave you a chance to make your own village home area or your garrison, for instance, for us for World of Warcraft is, and it made it like, hey, we we're t we don't want you to have to go through Stormwind and f fly all the way over here to get your herbalism. Fly all the way over there to go to the bank. Fly all the way here to get the auction house. They made they just kind of said, "Hey, if you want all your specific things you need to help better your profession, to uh, go to the bank, to even get an auction house in there if you want, let's all just put it in one place and let you customize it the way you want." They gave you some some mobility to do what you want with it. Now the thing is, and I know it's a lot of people have been talking about, it, is it kind of gets away from the uh, whole MMO aspect of playing with a bunch of people, and it's kind of more of a first-person perspective of your own character and his own stuff. And of course, if you're in a party, you can have the uh, your teammates or your party come into the leader's garrison. If you um, do it, then you can kind of view that, and you can kind of have your friends come and check out what you got. But there's not too much customization. I can see World of Warcraft expanding on it a lot more and making it more customizable. I mean, it could go to even as far as putting furniture in certain things and things like that, but for right now, it's kind of like a, a basic part to it, and I can see it becoming a huge element to World of Warcraft because it's such a success and like I said, pretty much simple. You, it's just a way for you to get your professions and anything that you use personally for your characters to help better your character to get armor. You know, same thing, but in a condensed area of your own. And um, the biggest thing about that is they added followers, which is kind of like a Pokemon aspect of it, where it's like. You got to go out throughout Warlord to Draenor, and there's certain quests or upgrading certain outposts throughout Warlord to Draenor. You can get followers to come in and help you do patrol missions and do missions to help get you better gear, more resources, which you need the re garrison resources to upgrade your village and your garrison and your different kind of buildings and so on. And um, I thought it was really cool because it's kind of a little bit of a side addicting thing, you know, like they do with the mounts. You want to kind of get them all, collect them all, got to get them all. <laughs> but um, so I thought it was a really good idea, a really good jump, and uh, I definitely want to see what World of Warcraft's going to do in the future with the garrisons because it's definitely something I invested a lot of time in so far into upgrading, making better. And um, going on through that, I also mentioned that you have to explore. Warlord to Draenor, which was probably the funnest for me as far as visuals and the different lands you go into. I know people thought in the beginning it's like, oh, Burning Crusade, that means it's Zangramarsh, which was, oh gosh, Hellfire and, you know, Shadow Moon, which Shadow Moon was just like a desolate black and green nothing. Ugh, it was terrible. And Hellfire was just all red and this angle marsh was all blue and Terracar forest all green. It just was so ugh, I hated it. I couldn't stand Outlands when I leveled through it. Um, but this one, they kind of made it look nicer. They're like, this is before Warlord, this is before Outlands became what it was. And it was really nice that they just made everything look beautiful. I mean, just I mean, I'm not one of those guys, like I've said in other articles, where I stop and smell the roses, but, I mean, the skies were beautiful, the uh, visuals on the plains, running through the valleys, the forests, and even the parts where they have, you know, where Gar are, um, um, some of the, like, Burning Legion's been through and all that stuff looks desolate and, like, where you can see uh, all the different kind of destructions that's kind of happened in some areas, even those look nice in their own ways. And they still made every area have its own uniqueness to it. While at the same time you can tell that the Iron Horde and the Draenor and the Draenei are at war together. And you can feel the war, but at the same time they have peaceful areas. And it was really nice. It just had a touch of everything I enjoy. And um, I just had tons of fun trying to find all the different kind of treasures that were around the world. 
and the rares that you could encounter. It was just a really, really enjoyable time. It was the first time that I played World of Warcraft and I sat there and I was like, man, I, I can't believe I'm already 100. I mean, there's just so much more I wanted to explore. I mean, and I, I already leveled my two characters through it, and it was just, it was just as exciting to go through it the second time. Um, so, kudos to WoW on that one, man, because questing has always been a big, big, big problem for me when it came to World of, War, World of Warcraft. It's like, oh, now i got to go through all of this again. But no, for Warlords of Draenors, it was, it was perfect. As far as war for World of Warcraft's terms, it it was just a really, really, really exciting thing to go through. But um, I think another reason why questing was so much fun for me is because they made the story. You know, you wanna you actually wanted to see what it was about. It was like not just gathering quests and going out and killing so many of these, and then then you're like, well, why did I do that? Now it's kind of like you want to read the quest, you want to see what's going on. You want to see because you're finally introduced into like the game. When you first go in, you see all the villains you're going to be messing with. You see the characters. They're individually showing you them, showing who you're going to be dealing with throughout this expansion. And it's like, like I said, with your character, they're making your character feel like he's the champion. He's the guy that's been there all this time helping you out through all that. So you're a big deal. And now they're showing you that, hey, these are the villains you're going to go up against you need to take these guys down. And in the future raids, which I couldn't talk about because the raids aren't coming out until December 2nd, and I didn't want to procrastinate any longer and get this out. So I will talk about the dungeons, which is where you're going to see majority of your bosses and your big characters at, of course. So I ran some of the dungeons with my tank, and um, I have to say that from the dungeon standpoint, it was probably the weakest point visually the dungeons looked awesome like I loved Iron Docks I thought that was such an amazing amazing dungeon and when I went through it it was like they had the orcs talking in the background and kind of like you kind of go through it slowly and progressing and you, it was just it was comical at the same time serious and you're just like wow this it just looked so awesome it was just such a different approach to a dungeon the other ones were kind of your typical dungeons you're not much different um the bosses after playing final fantasy it's kind of hard i know why i was trying to make it for everyone but they're the the simple they make it too simple with the mechanics i mean tanking unless you're tanking or healing i don't really feel like i'm doing much and I know they're trying. They're trying to make it simple, but yet challenging and making it to where your DPS actually has some things they have to do on their own. But still, I feel like it turns into a stand, keep your, keep out of this stuff, kill this ad, and tank and spank, which most War, 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 bleh, War of Warcraft uh, veterans would know of. And um, But I have to say, all in all, though, the dungeons were probably its weakest point. But, uh, I don't know. I guess that's about it for me, though, on this. I mean, pretty much a sum up. I think the new races and the new uh, spells being condensed into simpler uh, moves and putting one into two and two into three type thing. And um, I think it made it a lot easier for me to be able to get my keybinds down, to be able to use my moves faster and be able to have not so much to worry about and the... The races looked really well with some minor problems. Um, the garrisons, I think they're going somewhere really good with it. I kind of would have liked a little bit more customization, but for what it has now, I'm not too disappointed with it. The looks of World of, War, of Warlord to Draenor is probably the biggest thing I loved. It was an area I totally enjoyed going through each area and exploring and seeing all the different landscapes and all the different area, all the different items that you could get from all the rares and searching and really wanting to explore and the fact that they kept flying out of it and making you have to use land mounts was a really good approach and I'm proud WoW did that and I hope honestly they don't even bring flying, flying in for a very long time. I, I've heard rumors they say in future patch they're going to allow it again but it just brings more people together. It's nice to see it go to like a vanilla WoW approach of making you feel like oh there's a guy riding by me or you can see a guy off 
you know, collecting herbs or mining or see that guy over there finishing a quest. And it just kind of brings more people together in a way. It made me join random groups a lot more because it made me want to go in there and kind of work together to get something done faster. But um, the villains and the stories was probably another big factor that I loved of, like I said, how they really introduced your character into... Uh, being a hero and being it, being the leader of the of the alliance or horde, trying to take out the Iron Horde, and seeing the new the villains that are familiar faces to a lot of them. I personally don't know many of them, but I mean, I was nice to see that you were with the bad boys. I guess you could say, you know, your tough guys, your badasses like Thrall and stuff, which is my favorite NPC for. Uh, World of Warcraft, and I thought it was a really good approach to make it feel like you are part of the war in World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, but anyways, if I had to give this game a rating, I would give it an 8.5, because I think this is probably my favorite expansion towards World of Warcraft, I will say that, but there were some minor problems I had, plus there was a little couple of connection problems they had in the beginning. But all in all, Warlords of Draenor was a very good expansion, my favorite expansion, and it took this long for him to make that. And I mean, uh, but I'm not saying any of the other expansions were terrible, but the jump from Mist to Pandaria to Warlords of Draenor was a great jump, and I loved every second of it. I'm gonna, I'm still continuing to play it, and I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. And even if I do, I know I'll be coming back when a new big patch or big raid comes. So thanks for listening, guys. Uh, if you guys want to leave any comments below about uh, World of Warcraft, anything about that, or if you want to get my gamer tag for uh, World of Warcraft, um, my battle net is email is Matt Harnig, M A T T H A R N I G at yahoo.com. I'll write that down below and tell you so you guys can uh, find it and uh, just send me a friend request and if you guys want to do any uh, dungeons or you want a PvP which I'm really into uh, just send me, a, send me an invite or send me a message and uh, I'll be glad to play with you guys uh, thanks for listening